Hello friend, in this video I will create a simple navigation menu in Sketchware. So here I have this new project in which I have added these three images bar graph, pie chart and line graph. For these two the background is white whereas for line graph the background is transparent. So first I will add a linear horizontal for adding these three items. And then I will have three linear verticals which will act as the main pages. So for each of these I will select width to match parent, height to wrap content for all these three linear vertical. So these are linear 2, 3 and 4. Now for these three I will set the weight to 1 but before that ok let's set the weight to 1. So when I set their weight to 1 they will occupy equal spaces since they have no contents. So now they have, they are occupying equal number of spaces. Now inside this I can add a scroll view so that I can add any number of items inside. And if I add a scroll view, I will have to add another linear inside them. or I can add an edit text also or I can add a text view this is page 3 ok text size 30 in edit text also I will write this this is page 2 ok and text size 30 now inside this I will add a text view and write it as first page so now I have these three linears linear 2 linear 3 and linear 4 and there are different contents in these now I will display them by clicking on menu so for creating menu I need three more linears this will be linear verticals so inside linear 1 I have linear 6, 7 and 8. For these I will I will just remove them now. So I have this linear 6. Inside this I will add an image view. It is difficult to add an image view inside this. and below this I will add a text view now for this linear I will set weight equal to 1 and I will set gravity to center horizontal then for this image view I will set width equal to 40 height equal to 40 scale type equal to fit center and for this text view I will set text to bar graph ok and for this I will select the image bar graph image now let us set it set its weight back to 0 now I will save this 
and I will have a copy of this. After this I can again set weight to 1. For this I will change the image to pie chart and this third one will be line graph. Now I need a white background so I will select background color to white and for this also for these I will select a different background color. Okay, so now I have three different background colors and for this linear I will set padding to 2. Okay, it looks fine now and for these also I will set padding to 4. Now I have these linears and let's move to logic part. So here I will create a more block. Inside this I will write display and then I will have variables. First I will have the image view variable, image view then I will have a text view variable text view and I will have a linear layout I will just have this view linear and I will add this so in on create I will use this block display image but before this I have to define it so I will just go to this block and first I will make all the linears gone so here I will set I have to make these linear 3 linear 2 and linear 4 gone so I'll select linear 2 set visible gone linear 3 set visible gone linear 4 set visible gone then I have to set the text color So the text views are text view 3, 4 and 5. So for text view 3 I will set text color to black, text view 4 also and for text view 5 also the text color will be black. Now for images I will set the color filter. The images are image view 1, image view 2 and image view 3. So for all these I will set color filter to null. Image view 1 dot set color filter null. And similarly for image view 2 and image view 3 I will set the color filter so 
so now everything is gone black color and this color filter is null now after this i have to set the color text color of this text view so i'll copy this block and for this text view i will set a different text color i will set the text color to red then i will make the linear visible so here i will make this linear set visible visible and i will have to change the color of this image view so for changing this i have to use image view this is you can see that this is image view but for using it in codes you have to write underscore image view dot set color filter let's set it to color dot red okay now you can see that the background of this image is white background of this image is also white but the background of bar graph is not white it is transparent so for bar graph i will have to use a different actually this will work for the line graph i will just change this text also here the text will be line graph and this will be pie graph so for this line graph whose background is transparent the code will work but for these i will have to use potter def mode so here i will use if underscore image view is equal to image view 3 then i will use this code underscore image view dot set color filter color dot red okay else actually i can use blocks here so i'll just use blocks if i'll use this equals block and here if image view no it cannot be used so just remove this and use quotes if image view equals image view 3 image view dot set color filter color dot red else copy this and paste it here image view dot set color filter color dot red comma potter def dot mode dot lighten and that's all now we have to use it on the click off buttons so this will act as button linear 6 linear 9 and linear 10 so here i will add the events linear 6 linear 9 and linear 10 when linear 6 is clicked i'll use this block display image view 1 text view 3 and view linear 2 and in on create also i'll use the same thing display image view 1 text view i will display text view 3 and linear 
Now when linear 9 is clicked, I will display image view 2, text view 4 and linear 3. And when linear 10 is clicked, display image view 3, text view 5 and linear 4. That's all. Now let's check this. Okay, so here you can see that bar graph is selected and it is showing first place. When I click on pie graph, it displays the second page and when I click on line graph, it displays the third page. And whatever I select, the text color and image color changes to red. So that's all in this video. I hope this was useful. Thank you very much for watching this.